Is it part four already? Those with a keen eye will notice that many of the shapes we have put in place are not just like the final model yet. This is because we will need to rework some of them to get to their final form. I do wonder whether I should have cut out some parts, but I think this way it is a more truthful representation of the process. Upping the resolution on the thigh now will allow us to sketch in a line with draw sharp. You can turn down the strength of the stroke and make many marks to gradually build up the line. This seems to create a neater finish. Using a stronger draw sharp stroke to cut into the sleeves, giving the clothes more depth and interest. Duplicating the leg armour now and upping the resolution means we can use clay strips to build up some details here without damaging the base shape. It's a very handy trick in my experience, as if you have ever tried to add detail directly to a hard surface object it is difficult to keep the structure intact. Revisiting the face, we can up the resolution and try and improve the look. Don't be afraid to keep trialling out different things here. As you can see, the smallest tweaks to the eyes and mouth, for example, can create a vastly different expression. So play with it until you find what you're looking for. In the last part we built a good sketch for the shoulder armour, but pushing this further and keeping the structure we want might be tricky using just one object, so let's split it up into three. By duplicating the main object and masking out the unneeded parts, we can use mass slice and fill holes to separate the object into parts. We can tidy up these shapes using pinch, clay strips, smooth and the snake hook.
When using the snake hook, you can bend the object by holding the stroke down and moving in a circle. Depending on the rake setting, this will twist a little or a lot. Mine is set to 0.5 here. To refine the necklace, we can trim away the body and push the shapes further. Using Alt-D will link duplicate the shoulder armour. We can then move and rotate this into position on the right shoulder. Selecting the sleeves and body, we can join these using Ctrl J and remesh into a complete shape. You will notice some of our details have faded from before, so let's mark those back in. Try not to see anything you do that becomes unused as wasted time. All the time you spend sculpting will build your skill set if you keep the right mindset. Some parts of the model are really taking shape now, and some nearly reaching their final form. There is still much to do before we reach our goal though. Patreon is a great way to allow me to dedicate more of my time towards sculpting and creating more content like this. Thanks for watching, let's meet again in part 5.